That's crazy, bro. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Welcome, family. Welcome, family. How are y'all doing? Peace and blessings. I hope everything is coming to fruition for you in 2024. I hope it's already been better in your 2023. I hope everything that you hope for, wish for, pray for is coming your way. And I hope you're doing it with a positive mindset. We don't want to, you know, disregard the shit on people around us. We want to keep ourselves uplifted and uplift our people around us. That's the only way you come up, family. So I am at Real King Henry on Instagram. Wallace Real King Henry on Facebook. Subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, One One Family Productions, as we uplift each other, family. And I'm here with my good believer brother, Chris Enlighten. I go by Chris Enlighten. I also go by Chris the Life Broker. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Chris the Life Broker. And um, I have another YouTube page called The Enlightened Journey. You can find me on Instagram at Chris underscore Enlighten and Facebook under Chris Enlighten. My man. So guess what? So today, family, we're here to educate you on the realities and misconception of life insurance and investing in yourself. So when I think of life insurance now, I was like everybody else. When you think life insurance, you think life and death. You think you just pay $25 a month to the man and come to your crib. We all remember them days. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The man come to your crib with the $25 and make sure you tell you know, we all been, we've been bamboozled for a long time. But, yo, it's 2024. Information is becoming more prevalent. Information is becoming more easy to grab if you use it right. And there's still good people out there willing to spread information if you want. So we're here to talk about life insurance, the misconception and the reality of life insurance business, the financial industry, and what could be gained from it, and what is all available to you. You know, when your will to succeed is stronger than your will to fail, you're going to always win. And with life insurance, it's a fail-safe way to win, family. If you're into saving money and allowing that money you're saving to grow, you're going to always win with insurance. It's a great way to take your earned income, put it into a vessel that's going to grow anywhere between 6 to 12% interest each year. A lot of people are a little leery about learning about the stock market, learning how to trade and all that other good stuff. But if you're unsure of how to do that, you can put your money into a vessel like an index universal life insurance policy and allow it to be tied to an S&P 500 stock that's going to grow each year, every year. Even when the stock falls, if there's a bear market or something like that, your insurance policy is going to consolidate. It's going to stay stagnant. And then when the market is a bull market and goes up, your money is going to increase. The beauty about putting money in an index universal life insurance policy is inflation. Inflation is going to always go up. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of deflation. Mm -hmm. So if you got your money into a market where it's tied to inflation and stocks, you're going to always win over time, family. That's correct. So, for instance, my example, for instance, I'm an entrepreneur. You know how we do it, one of a kind, fish and chips, one on one family production. So we out here with the cameras and stuff. So as an entrepreneur, I had a good family walk up to me. Shout out to my agency. We went in over there. We showing each other how to get money, and we showing each other how to help family. So in my instance, I'm thinking like, man, I got to learn how to, I got to figure out a way how to save some money. Without the 401k, without the IRA, because I already knew what that game was about. Lord behold, my family walk up, hey, what you know about the life insurance game? What you know about the financial industry? I see you out here working. I see you out here independent. What you know about it? Nothing. Come holler at us, man. We're going we gonna to school you. Boom. School you. So, well, yeah, I need to know how to, you know, set myself for the future. I need to know how to do a 401k. Boom. So, the reality is, family, you can... Make your own 401k and your insurance policy and let it grow, like my man said, with the, with the S&P 500 market. So I put my money in my policy every month, my IUA every month, and let it grow. Let it accrue. Let it be a touch so I can take care of my future self, so I can take care of my family, so I can take care of my kids later on, so they don't have to worry about burying me, so I don't have to worry about if I get sick, where I can pull some money from. If I got a, a, a business venture I want to jump in five years from now and I need 10, 15 grand of my hard-earned money that I put in there that I need to go back and get, 
tax free, man, that's the beauty of it right there. And that's what we talk about ownership, taking accountability of your own financial freedom, your own financial. And we're not necessarily talking about being wealthy. We're just talking about being fiscally responsible so you can take care of yourself and those around you later on. You know, I once had a 401k and I was looking at my statement and I noticed how much money I was losing. And whenever you're constantly feeding, your dollar costing averaging, putting money in each paycheck, it's kind of hard to see if you're winning or losing because you're always feeding it. But when you really look at the parabolic curve of the stock market and you'll see how your money in your 401k goes up and down, if you do the calculation and see how much you're putting in versus how much you're growing, you're going to realize you're not winning as much as you thought. So all that money that you're accruing in your 401k policy, even if you do win, the government's going to win in the end. Because when you retire or if you become 59 and you take that money out, they're going to get 30% off the top before you get anything. So a way to counteract that, you can take all your 401k money out, not take it out, but roll it over into an annuity, and you won't be taxed at all. You'll only be taxed on that interest. And that little interest being taxed versus the big sum of money being taxed is a big thing. If you're into saving money, you definitely want to roll your money over to an annuity. Now, if you have a job and you're currently working and you have a 401k, if you're under 59, you won't be able to just take your money out of your 401k, unfortunately. I don't want you guys to think, and I don't want to mislead you into thinking that I'm going to just take my money out and roll it over. It's not like that. You have to leave that job before you do that. But you can set yourself up with an index universal life insurance policy, and you can put extra money in each month. It's a limited amount of money you can put in there each month. You know what I'm saying? Versus just letting it put it in a bank and you're gaining 0.003% interest each year. Yeah. Well, what sounds better to me? 0.003, when you're seeing 75% dividend interest every three months on your statement, or you'd rather be saving 5, 7, 10% over here on your dollar. You know what I mean? I mean, what, what makes fiscal uh, sense to you? So, and I'm not saying I have a bank account because I have a bank account because we all have bills that we need bank account. You know, that's not what we're saying. We're not saying don't get rid of your bank account. We're saying what's the matter having a bank account over here What's the matter of having a policy over here setting up for your future self? And we're not even necessarily saying get rid of your 401k. But, I mean, from what I'm hearing and understanding, it would be smart to roll it over. But at the same time, if you want to keep it, that's cool. You can still start over here. Ain't nothing wrong with having something you can pull from here, something you can pull from here, something you can pull from here. There's nothing wrong with options. And that's what we offer us. That, that's basically what we are. We're just a financial marketing organization that delivers options on how we can help you with your future self. That's what we do. You always want to diversify your financial portfolio, family. You always want to have more than one vessel to be blessed with. If you just think you have a job and you put that money in a checking account, that checking account or savings account isn't going to bless you. You can create digital real estate. You can create your own business. You can create all these different little bitty streams of income that together will amass a lot of money over time. If you're not... Um, business savvy like that, you can just set you up multiple index universal life insurance policies. It's, you know, the misconception about life insurance is you have to die before you win. And that's just not the case with what we do. We like to set our communities up with vessels to bless them with while they're living. So if you're in a car wreck or if you get sick, it's any terminal illness, you can get a check up to 75% of your life insurance policy tax-free sent to you to help you out with your bills over the next years or months tax-free 